hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel it is another vlog from me um, this time we are in Zimbali in Durban South Africa so we flew all the way from Cape Town we came out here to Durban to uh, have some relaxing time away we're spending a whole five days here and as you can see the nature is just extraordinary so it's gonna be a good five days and then we'll be heading back to Cape Town can you find the secret in today's video if you can tell me what the secret is and tell me where you found it so give me the timestamp and if your answer is correct I will pin you to the top of the comment section Here we are at the airport doing airport things um, the one thing that I want to point out is the fact that we don't have the kids with us so it's just Gain and I and we get to relax for five days and not have the pressures of having two kids running around because kids are demanding and so we get to recharge our batteries without the kids don't worry they are with family they are safe at home while we get to go on our holiday and just have a good time change we are now flying over Durban about to land that is the Durban beach over there Durban just like Cape Town is famous for its beaches and there is a big weather difference as you can see Cape Town was sunny and Durban's a bit glum but hey we've got a few days and it will definitely change I checked the weather it will change and so we are looking forward to sunny days in Durban So the wind absolutely battered us as we got off the plane but like I said I checked the weather and we are guaranteed some warm sunny days in Durban so no worries about that.
Um, this is a little thing down here, a compartment for your bag. Can you do that? Your room number is 105. Oh. Right, so here we are at the room this is where the front door is of the room and then as you go in to the one side you've got a kitchen it's a fully equipped kitchen um, and then opposite the kitchen we have the living area right there um, with its own balcony with a wee bar on the balcony as well with its own tv the master bedroom also has a balcony and its own tv so this room's basically got it all and um, really comfortable bed which is always a good thing and then to the left that's just another entrance um, and then you've got the bathroom with a closet on the right another little sink on the left there's a full bath behind that door is a toilet wonderful shower let me say um, so yeah that's our room So here we are at the restaurant at reception and wonderful food, lovely food at Zimbali Lodge restaurant. Yeah, we had a good dinner on our first night there. Okay, so views from the back of the golf cart, which is always my favorite part of these places, is the golf cart rides. As you can see, these pathways are for foot traffic or for golf carts, not for full-sized cars. Right, here we are on our balcony from the living space. Of course, we had, had to pry. We are South African, it's what we do. And the nature that's just kind of in your backyard is so, so awesome. So this is what we looked into from our balcony and also from our front door. You're just surrounded by nature. The vervet monkey, or simply called vervet, is an old, old monkey which is native to Africa. They are mostly herbivorous monkeys. They have black faces with um, a grey body hair colour. Uh, females range uh, normally 40 centimetres in body length, whereas males are 50 centimetres in body length. They are monkeys, so they are quite mischievous. And I saw them steal a lot of food. I'm glad they didn't steal from us, but they stole from other people, especially kids. <laughs> that was hilarious to watch. I mean, they're monkeys. It's monkey business, I guess. Obviously, the cameras have to go off for this one, but in the next shot, you'll see that it was a good massage. So all in all, there's quite a lot to do at Zimbali. This is the reception pool area. 
They've also got the Valley of the Pools. They've got a full golf course. They've got these waterfalls that you can uh, hike around. They've got hiking trails, which are more strenuous. And they've got nature trails, which is a, a bit more flat and easier, kind of just for everybody of any fitness level to do. They've got a coastal resort. They've got the beach that you can go down to. It's a non-swimming beach, but you can go walk on the beach. Um, and then they've got uh, uh, all these spas on the premises. So all in all, Zimbabwe is a good place to be. As you can see, they've got these geckos as well. They're like double the size of the ones that we have in Cape Town and I love geckos. So I was quite tempted to want to take one home, give it a name and everything, but that would be wrong. So I didn't do that. Okay, so here we are taking one of those non strenuous nature trails to the Valley of the Pools. We do come across the golf course, as you will see, and then we got a lovely, lovely surprise from nature on our way to the Valley of Pools. Check it out. What do we do? And he's th thinking the same thing. We didn't see any snakes though, that would have been nice, but we didn't see any snakes. This is actually a cool walkway underneath a little waterfall that the residents can take to get onto the rest of the estate, uh, which is cool because the rest of the estate is beautiful. And as you can see up there, those are the full-time residents that they actually have on the estate within Zamali. And here we have made it onto the beach uh, from our little nature walk all the way from our room. As you can see, it is clean. It is not crowded. Like I said, this is a no swimming beach. So that kind of helps with it. But it's also a private beach. So it spans the length of the Zimbali estate. Um, and the residents have access to it and the guests have access to it. So it's very clean. It's very serene. You can't swim in it. But as you can see the way again is standing, you can just, it's like meditation, standing on the sand and just watching the waves.
So we've just made our way to the valley of the pools and we're going to find an awesome spot to sit in and have some drinks and snacks by the poolside. It's that time. It's our last day in Zimbabwe. We've packed up. We've got no Uber and we are on our way to the airport. It has been a fantastic time. We had so much fun. We chilled. It was good to relax and rejuvenate. And so now we'll head home to our chaotic kids, uh, very vivacious little girl and our very charismatic little boy well they're not so little but i'll say little for the vlog and we are excited to see them we do love being around them but it's also good for parents to have a break so sadly leaving but happily we're going to see our kids as well as our three fur babies So something we normally do before our flights out of Cape Town and before our flights back into Cape Town is we go to the slow lounge which I didn't show um, before our flight out of Cape Town I just thought I'd keep it till the end of the vlog um, but we're going to the slow lounge if you bank with certain banks there are different lounges that you can go into and basically you get in there for free and there's an all-you-can-eat buffet they've got a coffee stand they've got other coffee machines around they've got fridges with all the cooling and stuff that you can you can drink and you can have some wine and champagne and whatever so obviously Gain had some mimosas and I had some coffee and juice and we ate some food saying goodbye to Durban thank you Zimbali you've been amazing you've been beautiful we've had a great relaxing time but all good things must come to an end so here we are on our flight back to Cape Town and hopefully we'll see you again soon Durban see that well on camera but what you're looking at there was uh, table mountain and lion's head so we are flying over cape town at the moment about to land at cape town international airport <laughs> if you've made it this far in the video please do give a like please comment down below what city you live in and where in the world you are viewing this from and uh, please do subscribe i would appreciate that so much i'd really love it if you would subscribe to my channel Thank <laughs> you. 